our show. Democratic Maryland Congressman Chris Van Hollen joins us, ranking member of the House Budget Committee. Congressman, thanks so much for taking uh, a few moments. You know, Bob Corker, the U.S. Senator, said this is just for show. This is purely optics. The president is not sincere. What do you think? Well, this is not for show. This is a last-ditch effort uh, by the president to bring the congressional leaders together to try and get uh, at least a small package, a small deal together uh, before the new year uh, to avoid some of the tax parts of the fiscal cliff mm -hmm. and to deal with some of the unemployment uh, issues. So the president is very determined to try and do it. Uh, as you know, uh, the House of Representatives packed up its bags and went home. They, they haven't, they're not even coming back uh, till Sunday yeah. night, even though the clock is ticking. You call it a small deal. Don't Americans deserve something more than a small deal from what is arguably small politicians? Well, when I say a small deal, I don't mean an unimportant deal, especially given the fact uh, that as you've been uh, reporting on January 1st, uh, people's taxes will start to go up. A big a tax hike for middle-class uh, Americans um, and others. Uh, and the bill that's been sitting in front of the House of Representatives uh, would say that 100% of American families get tax relief, tax cuts, on their first $250,000 in income. Uh, and for people who are making more than that, they would pay a little bit more on the amount of income above $250,000. So when I say small deal, I mean, it's not the comprehensive proposal that the president but, uh, had put forward just a few weeks ago. But here's my point. Boehner, but Speaker Boehner walked away from that's, that. Speaker Boehner walked away from that. He then decided to bring his own package before the House of Representatives, which was rejected by his own party. So here we are. Yeah, but you've got 20 million Americans underemployed or unemployed. And th these are people who are desperate to put food on the table, to pay their rent, to keep the roof over their houses. And... And they have no expectation that Congress is going to do anything to help them. Don't they deserve more than that? Well, certainly uh, millions of Americans are out there struggling, and certainly they deserve a Congress uh, that will avoid going over the fiscal cliff, uh, which is why the president's right. been working hard to try and bring uh, well, the leaders together. Has I he think really? you, and your viewers, you and your viewers should know that Speaker Boehner has absolutely refused to even hold a vote on the bill that was passed the Senate, which would avoid the task, tax fiscal cliff. We're not even asking him to vote for it. Just hold a vote. Let the People's House it, do its business. It takes more than one side to compromise, Congressman. You know the compromise is endemic in Washington politics. And the president, we looked it up today, and I had our brain room confirm it. And they say that there has been no face-to-face uh, discussion between the president and anybody on the Republican side in 11 days. I mean, he, he's, you know, the leader and, of the and, country. And why, and why he can call that? a discussion anytime he wants, and he hasn't, which does but, but wh question the sincerity of the president. Do you know the answer to why that is? Why is that? It's because Speaker Boehner walked away from the talks that he was having with the president. That's a matter of public record. I mean, the president can't force the speaker to talk. What happened was the speaker walked out of the talks with the president. The speaker then decided to come up with a plan that says he's going to ask people making over a million dollars to pay a little bit more in taxes to help reduce the deficit. It was rejected by his own party. And so then he sent his, his members home on vacation. I'm, I'm over on the Senate side right now. They're in session. Uh, speaker Boehner let the House members ago. So first he walked out of the talks with the president and then he sent everybody home on vacation. Obviously we need to have compromise. The Senate bill that passed out of the Senate many, many weeks ago had compromise. It was passed by Republicans and Democrats. Right. All we're asking is that Speaker Boehner hold a vote on that bill. Okay. I, I don't know why he's afraid to even hold a vote. That's allowing the, the process to work, allow Democrats and Republicans in the House to vote on that, it would avoid the He would say the they've already clip. voted on a plan uh, to extend all the tax cuts. Uh, but, Chris but, Van Hollen. But they had a vote, but, but they had a vote in the all Senate right. on that plan, and they voted it no, down, and then on, on a bipartisan basis, um, they passed another time. bill. Chris Van Hollen, thank well, you so much for taking a few moments. We'll be right it's back. It's good to be with you.